My name is Lisa P. Jackson, and I'm Administrator of the United States Environmental Protection Agency. And I always tell people, a lot of people came to the environmental movement. I think particularly white Americans, sort of the Theodore Roosevelt model. It was about privilege and mornings on horseback, right? It was about being privileged enough to afford to go to the most exquisite parts of this country, maybe to hunt, maybe to fish, maybe just to camp. Um, I didn't have that experience. I grew up in a city. I grew up in an urban area. So my first calling towards the environment was less beautiful, but probably even as important, if not more important, and that was the health side. What happens to children who inhale um, pollution? What happens to mothers if they eat fish that's contaminated with mercury? What do we know, what do we don't know? And so environmental justice to me is about, is about that side of my upbringing. So I remember being less than noble. I'll go to EPA, I'll work for a few years, punch my ticket, and then go work for one of these consultants. And I never left. I mean, I, I worked there until I moved to work for the state of New Jersey. And I found a couple of things. I, I do think the call to public services came back. Um, I do think the work of the agency is incredibly interesting. It's very scientific. You know, the environment has this reputation of being about granola and Birkenstocks and, you know, we're kind of going back to the olden days. But it's just the opposite. Environmental protection is about as technical a field as there is. You know, think about what we're doing to try to deal with climate change or make cars more fuel efficient but still safe. It's material science, it's physics, it's math, it's chemistry. We, we used the Clean Air Act to start to bring down carbon pollution, and we did it in a way that was open and inclusive, and that I hope is building the next generation of environmentalists, and that those, that generation is going to be more diverse and have different ideas, but that they see in the agency a structure and a government and a public service agency that listens more than it speaks and that protects, always, always protects their health and the, and, and the environment where they live.